Hey, this is the Big JB. Tuesday morning, overcast today, a little different. Uh, it's okay. Really beautiful view of uh, some of the mountains as I was driving in today. Just mist kind of clinging to the top of the mountains. It's It always inspires me. It's, I, I don't know, maybe when I retire I'll have a home that is in the shadow of a mountain or something like that so I can see the mist. I have a thing about valleys. I mean, not metaphorically. I mean, like literally. <laughs> I really like valleys. I really like being kind of on the edge and looking down into the valley or being in a valley and being able to look up at the mountains. I just, I don't know what it is. It's, I, I realized um, a few weeks ago as I was, uh, my wife and I were driving that there are parts of my drive uh, or a trip anywhere that I just really love, especially if we've been that way many times. Like um, we go camping over in eastern Washington and um, there's a certain point at which we're driving and as we're driving kind of the roads curving and you look down into this valley and there's these you know plots of land that guys have that are farms and stuff and I just I don't know I just really dig it so yesterday evening I was in what my wife and I refer to as a hate spiral um, if you've ever seen the um, there's an internet meme called uh, clean all the things or you know whatever all the things um, it's uh, it's you know, it's rather popular, and, and people have modified it for years. So um, that person, lady, I, I believe, um, wrote a comic one time about the hate spiral. So my wife and I have adopted that, and the hate spiral is something that you get into where everything sucks, nothing is working in your favor, everything, whether big or little, that goes wrong is all part of the giant cosmic conspiracy to make your life hell, and you just go on this circle downward and downward and downward so my wife and I call it the hate spiral and sometimes you need something to break the hate spiral um, and usually something happens to, to snap you out of it sometimes it's your own will where you're clawing your way out and choosing to be happy or joyful or whatever uh, in the middle of that sometimes you just need a snack sometimes you need to sleep which is what my situation was last night um, I tried to record something for today's episode of um, the Old Republic edition of The Instance, and the recording didn't work well. I popped my mic. I don't know what I'm doing wrong. I think when I do my P's that it's a pretty powerful P. So um, I tried something different last night, and it still didn't work. And my audio setup is really not that great, honestly. Um, I'm making do with what I have, but... It's kind of tough. It's kind of tough to do do as good a job as I want to do. Um, just because I don't know everything that I'm doing, I can't hear myself when I'm recording, and I need to look into how to do that so I can tell if I'm popping my peas. Um, so that was the first thing that I was frustrated by. It was late, and when I started writing my piece for the Old Republic um, instance, and... So that was late. And Monday nights, I'm trying to save um, as time with my wife where we can watch Deep Space Nine together. I have uh, kind of this schedule, if you will, to on how I do things on Monday night. Usually it's um, from 8 to 9, I do recording and audio stuff. And then at 9 o'clock, my wife and I watch an episode of Deep Space Nine, and then we go to bed. And that's usually Monday night. Um, but... I, I can't even say usually because I only think it's happened a couple times because I am not good about recording my stuff over the weekend or writing. So I was writing my stuff late last night. Uh, I finally came to the decision when it was about 9.30 that there's no way I was going to get it done in time to edit it and everything else because I had to re-record. Then uh, I tried logging on to Tor for a little bit just to do something fun because uh, that was so painful. I did finish watching Pirates of the Caribbean with my son. Um, he hadn't seen he hadn't seen it yet, so I showed it to him, um, and that was fun. I, I really did enjoy it. I, I loved how much he loved that movie. Um, so 9:30, I log on, and like as soon as I log on to the internet or start loading, uh, not log on to the internet, but log on to log on to the internet. I'm, I'm using AOL now. I'm gonna log on to the internet. Um, <laughs> log on to Tor. Um, her Netflix viewing went into a loading issue and like it she was in the middle of watching and it, it started doing the loading thing and it was really odd so I tried to fix it um, and it just seemed like everything that I was doing uh, that was internet related 
broke her thing. And I was just I was so frustrated. I got so mad about it. I tried calling Comcast to see if I could fix it. They said there was no problem. The lady who was on the phone just, she was so, I don't know, she, she sounded so um, not confident. I don't know. There's another word for that. Um, <laughs> I don't know what it is right now. Uh, and that didn't fix it. So finally I was like, forget this. I'm going to bed. Um, and my wife and I talked and I was so frustrated and I was in that hate spiral. Just everything sucked and everything was bad. So I just laid in bed and, and played a game on my iPod and ended up staying up too late. So I'm, I'm really tired today. And so it's just this, you know, it's this vicious circle, but then, you know, the hate spiral is broken because I woke up and I feel better than I did yesterday. And I noticed for me that that's usually the worst time is when I'm tired, overworked, stressed, and that kind of stuff. So I guess my advice and encouragement to everybody is if you find yourself in that hate spiral, talk to somebody about it. Use the term hate spiral because I'm sure that they will, will know what you're talking about. Um, because the concept, as soon as you say hate spiral, like, oh yeah, I've totally been there. So um, and if you're in that hate spiral, try to go to sleep, take a nap, have a snack, uh, and then see if that, see if that helps. Try to process what it is that kicked off the hate spiral if that doesn't seem to help. So that is my thing for today. Uh, I'm going to be done for today. This has been the Big JB reporting to you live, recorded earlier. I love that recorded live. Well, it's not recorded anymore. Jeez. <laughs> so the big JB here on Twitter, no, on YouTube. That's what, where we are right now is on YouTube. And you can follow me on Twitter at Voice of the Big JB. Thanks for liking the, the video. Thanks for subscribing, and thank you for watching. I'll see everybody tomorrow. Bye.